Hey, Piper. Y'all excuse my voice. It's, I, if you want to call it that, I about don't have one left. It's better than it was. Mm. Excuse me, it's better than it was this morning. <clears throat> but pollen is everywhere here. <clears throat> this does it to me every, every year. I keep saying every year I'm going to start taking Claritin, and I haven't yet, but you'd think you'd learn after a while, but uh, I feel fine, feel good. It's just, I don't have any voice. I've had this drainage that's, anyhow, <clears throat> I had PM, oh, let's get away, um, let's, let's get the uh, housekeeping out of the way. I'm smoking a little his HIS pipe that I picked up at Bayou Tobacco <clears throat> in Baton Rouge. And I'm smoking one of their blends called uh, <coughs> Jackson, and it is a uh, uh, good little blend. Ah, excuse me here. I'm sitting on this love seat back here. It's pretty handy. You don't have to drag everything up front. Of course, I, I would rather do them up front. The lighting's better, but this is a temporary. This is an occasion where I'm too lazy to do it. I'll use this. Or if much folks is up front. Mm -hmm. But I had sent uh, Dean the wild inside a private message checking on him. We hadn't heard from him in several days, and uh, to be sure that he was okay, and uh, he sent me a reply back. In fact, Dean has had some very trying issues, and he wanted me, uh, well, I said that it to relay this on to the uh, community. Uh, Dean is a retired deputy sheriff, and um, one of his partners from when he retired, excuse me, was shot and killed in the line of duty in the last few days. So they've been going through, <coughs> you know, the process, the funeral process and everything. And uh, they were coming upon the two-year anniversary of the death of his father, father too. And uh, they had to get together with his mo mom. And, you know, it's tough when you lose these people, you know, your, your family, your fathers, your mothers, a family member. First, you, know, you never get over it, but the first couple of years is the toughest. And he said it's just been a real down time to him with all this going on with his friend. Hasn't been where he could make a video. So Dean is another one. that well, He's a great guy. The wild inside. We need to keep Dean in our prayers and his family and the family of this fall. Excuse me. This fallen <clears throat> this fallen um, law, lawman. So, um, y'all do keep all, that whole entire situation in your prayers. Y'all excuse my scratching voice. We, we'll get through this. <clears throat> Dean's a great guy. Taxidermist does a lot of that. That's a sideline job. And uh, great guy, great guy. But, you know, when you don't see a presenter for several days, you tend to get worried. And several people have asked, I've heard them ask on video and in discussions. Uh, I've had some PMs asking if I'd heard from him. And uh, yes, did. And uh, he's had some issues the last few days. And y'all remember him. Every time I'm going to discuss this <laughs> this Jackson blend, I always forget the what it's patterned after, and I always forget that name. As soon as I get through, it'll dawn on me. <laughs> uh, pistachio. It's a real nutty. But not like burly, but yet buttery. You know, it's it's. Pipe Happy loves it. It's a real rich uh, red Virginia type 
based. <coughs> Comes from Bayou Tobacco in uh, in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Talked to Wallace on the phone and enjoyed that. Talked about <laughs> some advice on humidor. Look, this is any advice can come my way. I need it on these humidors and these cigars. That's a whole nother hobby within this hobby, and it goes parallel, you know, with each other. I was telling my dad about Joe, a.k.a. used to be Flag 1122, who is now Ash and Ember, and I was asking him, of course, my dad's an old Arkansas boy, where this town was, and I said, Salem Spring, Springs, I think, and he said, oh, you pronounced it wrong, it's Salome Springs, I think, so he, we both may be wrong, and I'm the world's worst about mispronouncing a name, especially in South Louisiana, there is a, a road here, an area of town, and a lake that's spelled C H N C H E N I E R E, I believe. It looks like Chenier, which would be French slash Indian slash, you know. But we all pronounce it Shinny. And I've had people say, uh, you know, coming to my house from out of town. They call me and say, you know, I didn't, they'd be lost and I'd go get them. They said, well, we're at the Chenier exit, you know. And uh, and I really do that when I get to South Louisiana. Sure do. But I may have mispronounced uh, the name of that town. But the name of his new brick and mortar is going to be Ash and Embers. And that's what he goes by screen name, too. So, yeah, he... Looking forward to him and Governor's getting open, like I said yesterday. I got some thumbs down on that Emily video, and one comment was made from somebody named Smoking Pipes about very disturbing that. Five minute thirty second mark where she smells the zippo and said they hoped I think it was I hope child services is watching. Let me tell you all about something else that's happened to me. During this conflict, there was a comment made about I needed to take more time, spend more time in my restaurant because of some bad reviews. I have never seen a bad review on my restaurant. There very likely may be when you deal with people you can't please everybody. However, my brother told me um, about 30 minutes ago, he called me and said they were online, a customer of his, he's got a patient of his, he's got patients that come in from Arkansas, Texas, Mississippi, and uh, they were Googling places to eat. And um, he said, well, you need to go around to my brother's um, has a restaurant here in town. Told him the name. And they said, well, we just got through Googling one of these sites that gives reviews. And they said there was a real scathing review on it. And he said, what did it say? Well, he read it, and he read it to me. And the date on it <laughs> was the same day that this, it may have been the next day, that this comment was made to me about bad reviews. It's the only bad review on there, and it said stuff about things that we didn't even serve. Now, when you involve a person's livelihood and their family, it's gone too far. And I want this to stop. I want that to stop. And I'm tired of it. And you know, I, I will never wear another shirt that has my business name on it. Matter of fact, I'm going to go back and delete 
each video. It's a shame. You know, I've tried to be very personal. I've tried to have a personal relationship with my friends on YouTube, but you can't. You can't do it. So, um, I'm going to be very watchful and mindful, and should have been already. Should have had better sense than that. But anyway, I didn't. And that's just wrong. It's just wrong. But I won't make that mistake again. I'm still going to be as personal as I can with you guys and girls. But I won't divulge. I'll be more cautious. Because there are some real psychopaths in this world. But such as it goes. Anyway, um, we're just going to make a run out to Sam's. I gotta, excuse me, pick up some trays, and they didn't send enough. They shorted us on sausage <clears throat> and ribs and chicken. Of course, I've got ribs and chicken coming from uh, our supplier, but I can get. If I got to go to Sam's anyway, I can save a little money. <clears throat> we use the Manda, M-A-N-D-A brand, and it is a. If you run across this sausage at your grocery store, smoke sausage. Art Sam's Manda, and it is truly, truly the best we found. And uh, I got to have a little piece of that every day. I cut me off a little piece every day when I get to work. It's uh, it's addictive. But I've got a I've got a date with one of my best friends Saturday morning. I'm going to pick him up at six o'clock. We're going to the lake. The bass are all over the place in the shallows. They're in the grass, and um, I love to throw a lizard this time of year, a little zoom plastic lizard, and probably going to throw the four inch. Like I say, they're not really hungry right now. They're just protecting the bed. They'll pick that lizard up and try to move it. And you really got to watch your line because it's not a, they don't jump and get it. You'll just see your line moving and you'll think the wind's got it. But it's the male bass picking the lizard up, what he thinks. And then that lizard is a, usually comes after those eggs. And he'll try to pick it up and move it and kill it. Well, that's when you that's when you get him, and because he's the the female has left the bed now. She's she will come lay the eggs, then she'll leave, go heal up. Her tail's usually skin up from making the bed. She'll go do what she does. When the eggs hatch, she'll come run him off. He'll guard the bed against intrusion. When they're hatched, she'll come back and run his butt off because he'll go to eating them. He'll go to eating the young and uh, she'll run him off. She may eat one or two herself. Why they do that, I don't, I don't know. But she'll run him off because he'll eat them all. Maybe he's jealous of them. I don't know what it is. But she'll run him off and then you go on from there. And that's, at that point is when I try to lay off of fishing, I, you know, you want those fingerlings to get grown, and I'm a catch and release guy, anyway. even if I catch the male, he's going back in, it's a sport, I throw him back in, now, when it comes to white perch fishing, or, as we call it here, white perch, crappie, now, those are keepers, that's when I have fish fry, but the bass, they taste okay, got a little game, gamey taste to them, it's just the sport of seeking them out and finding them. But I'm very I'm a, I'm a conservationist. When it comes to that, I catch and release those. Ninety percent of the time. But not with crappie, aka white perch. Now those are gonna get fried up with some French fries and some hush puppies. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get off and do something with this boys. Y'all have a good one. Keep Dean in your prayers and Pipe Pipe Happy and Miss Mary. Y'all have a good one. God God bless you.